I'm Victor Blackwell in El Paso, Texas, outside of a massive crime scene here where 20 people were killed, 26 were injured. There's a lot happening here as this investigation is just beginning, but there has been another mass shooting. Christy, to you. Yeah, I'm Christy Paul. Victor, thank you. We went to sleep with the news of those 20 people dead in El Paso. You are waking up now. I am so sorry to tell you to nine more people who've been killed in a second mass shooting, this time Dayton, Ohio. Between these two shootings, please absorb this. 29 people are dead. 42 people are injured in a 15 hour time span and two mass shootings. We're gonna get back to Victor in a moment, but wanna get you the very latest on what's happening in Dayton right now. Um, the assistant police chief there giving us an update just a short while ago on this overnight shooting. Here it is. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Matt Carper, Assistant Chief of Police and Deputy Director of Dayton Police Department. Uh, just after one o'clock this morning, we had an active shooter situation in the uh, Oregon District, uh, part of our downtown area in the 400 block of East 5th Street. We had uh, one shooter that we are aware of and uh, multiple victims. Uh, Right now, the, uh, the shooter is deceased uh, from gunshot wounds from the responding officers. We have nine victims deceased in addition to that uh, on East Fifth Street, and we have uh, approximately 16 more victims uh, hospitalized right now in unknown conditions. Uh, currently, we're, uh, we're working on identifying the suspect uh, to uh, uh, see what the possible motivation might have been. We do not have that yet. The uh, suspect was uh, uh, firing a, a long gun with, uh, with multiple rounds at the victims. Uh, we are currently opening up the convention center. Uh, and in the convention center, there will be resources, uh, information for family members and friends uh, if they have any questions about the, uh, uh, the status of of anybody who might have been involved or if they have information to provide. We have a dedicated phone line. I'll give you that number now. It's 225-6217, 225-6217. If anybody has information uh, regarding this incident or if they have questions about uh, uh, the status of their loved ones, please call that number. Uh, we currently have uh, the FBI on scene. We are conducting uh, the investigation. Uh, FBI is uh, is, is on scene as well to provide any uh, necessary resources. Um, initially, we had uh, obviously uh, multiple jurisdictions responding to assist the Dayton Police Department in, uh, in handling this incident. Uh, fortunately, we had officers actually already on scene in the Oregon District providing patrol. This is uh, this is a very safe part of downtown, and it's a uh, it's a very popular destination. For, uh, for visitors in the Oregon district. Uh, so we, we regularly have officers in the area. Fortunately, uh, we had multiple officers uh, uh, in the immediate vicinity when this incident started. So there's a very short timeline of violence. Uh, uh, for that, we're, we're very fortunate. This is a very tragic incident and, uh, and we're, uh, we're doing every, everything we can to, uh, to investigate it and try to identify the motivation behind this. Uh, with, with that, I can try to answer, uh, answer a few questions. Do we know where this may have started? We heard it could have started around Ned Peppers. Can you give us some Yeah, I can tell you, it started uh, in the 400 block of East 5th Street, and uh, this was, was all an exterior event. It, was, uh, uh, it all occurred outside. Any description of the shooter you can share? Uh, not yet. The shooter is deceased, and um, uh, you know, we still, uh, we're still uh, interviewing, uh, obviously, a lot of witnesses, uh, as well as officers, to try to uh, determine if anybody else was involved. So what type of weapon was used? It was a long gun. And it was one shooter? That we know of, uh, the, uh, that we know of right now. It's, uh, it's, uh, there's always a possibility that more people could have been involved, but that's what we're trying to uh, uh, identify right now. Were any officers hurt? No officers were injured. What's the age range of the victims? Uh, I can't tell you that right now. The coroner's uh, uh, office 
has uh, a lot of resources on scene. Um, obviously, this is a very taxing uh, event uh, for, uh, for resources for the, the police department, the fire department, medics, coroner's office, uh, but we have uh, a lot of help from, um, uh, from, from other uh, uh, agencies and organizations. Um, fire had uh, uh, mutual aid as well, so there were uh, 21 medic units that responded to this incident. Was it a Dayton police officer that took down the shooter? Uh, multiple Dayton police officers. How much time elapsed between the time the shooting started and he was engaged by the officers? I would be able to uh, to get you more information. We'll have a follow-up uh, news briefing uh, probably tomorrow. I can't give you an exact uh, you know, date and time, but it, it'll likely be uh, late tomorrow where we can provide additional information. I can tell you this, it's a very short timeline of violence, uh, very short. And how long do you expect to be out on scene tonight? Uh, throughout the whole night and morning. He said roughly 16 injuries. That at least 16, as many as 16. Yes, nine dead, uh, plus the uh, the suspects. So 10, 10 dead on East Fifth Street, and 16 that we are aware of hospitalized in unknown condition right now. Jeff Likens, Dayton Fire, Deputy Fire Chief. We have set up a family assistance center at the Dayton Convention Center. We'll give you a telephone number when we get that. Um, that way family members can call to find out if um, their um, loved ones were involved and get a status of who was transported to which hospitals. Is there any remaining threat to the public? Not that we're aware of. Uh, the, uh, the incident was resolved within a very short period of time and, uh, and the investigation will you know, continue through the night and, uh, and we'll, we'll go wherever it leads us. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, we're, we're investigating the possibility of more people being involved at this time. It, uh, it looks like it, it might just be the one person. After the shooting happened, I guess, what was the protocol? Did first responders go to set the several bars to make sure people were okay? I guess, what did y'all do after the shooting? Yeah, the, the, uh, the initial response was in, in any active shooter response, it's, uh, it's to respond directly to the threat itself, the immediate threat, and that was, and that was done within uh, a very short period of time in this incident. Uh, after that, uh, uh, first aid was, was rendered to, uh, to the, the many victims, and um, uh, obviously first responders uh, had a, uh, a pretty busy evening. Uh, tonight, but it was a, a county-wide uh, uh, request for assistance, so we had uh, assistance from uh, a lot of different jurisdictions in the area. What's your message to the community after an event like this? Uh, first is, a anybody with information, uh, please uh, please give us a call at that uh, dedicated uh, line, or they can always call 333-COPS as well for additional information. But, um, uh, you know, Dayton is, uh, Dayton is a very safe area the downtown Dayton uh, is a very safe area this is extremely unusual obviously for any community uh, let alone Dayton in, in our Oregon district this is uh, this is unheard of and very sad it's a very tragic evening and um, uh, we have a lot of resources dedicated to uh, take care of the, the victims the victims families as well as uh, identify uh, any other uh, people who might have been involved or Obviously, the, the public will be uh, very interested uh, to know what the motivation might have been for uh, for such a horrific um, incident as this, and, and we're uh, anxious to discover that as well. This is in an, an area called the Oregon District. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand it's an arts and an entertainment district, and yeah. we heard the um, we heard the assistant police chief there say this is very safe. This downtown is very safe. That this is unheard of. Looking into the background of this area, Christy, it's been described as this thriving arts and entertainment district on a Saturday night. As you can imagine, it would be packed with people. There are various restaurants and bars in that area. It's an area that had recently experienced this uh, urban rebirth or, or regrowth. So what we've been seeing here is police essentially concentrated and focused on this scene here as we hear from the police authorities that they were initially called there to an active shooter situation uh, and now can confirm uh, at least nine people dead in addition to the shooter. 
uh, as well as 16 people who have been taken to area hospitals where at this point their condition is unknown. Uh, the main focus right now, of course, uh, now that the scene has been secured, uh, is to try to establish a motive and to see exactly what has led uh, to one of the uh, nation's now um, latest shooting incidents here. Uh, it really does, the process and the procedure uh, it certainly does mirror what we witnessed in El Paso less than a day ago where uh, police initially responded. Uh, once they were able to secure the scene, now we're essentially sh turning this active uh, shooter situation now into an actual into an active homicide investigation and that includes turning to federal authorities we're told the FBI is already on scene uh, and then one more thing that also resembles what we uh, unfortunately witnessed take place in Texas just a little while ago uh, is now this push for information you just heard from one of the police uh, uh, officials there on the ground now pleading with the public that if they saw anything potentially shot any video uh, of the situation there to call that number that you see on the lower portion of your screen here because they're essentially now trying to piece this uh, investigation together and now a, a very active scene that still continues after shots were fired in uh, a very popular part of Dayton, Ohio at about one o'clock this morning. Christy. All right.